Welcome back, I'm Rosie Reese, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Black Obsidian Yoni Egg. So, this is the Black Obsidian Yoni Egg that I use and that I share with my tribe. And basically, Black Obsidian is formed when the volcanic lava uh, reaches the water and it cools really, really quickly, so it doesn't have time to crystallize. Hence, it has this really beautiful, shiny, glassy, smooth texture. So the black obsidian is really about removing negativity in your body and also in your auric field. So what it does is it draws out that negative energy and that can often be very uncomfortable. It can feel exhausting um, and really unpleasant if you have that negative energy um, coming out. So yeah, it's really important if you do have negative energy, especially stored in your yoni or your womb, that you want to release it and let it go because we, we can't really experience real, true calm and peace in our lives if we have all this negative energy swimming around, especially down in our base. So what it does is it draws it out. It removes trauma and that can be trauma on a physical or an emotional level. So if you've experienced sexual trauma, this is so good for that. If you've experienced self-trauma, and you know, we all, to some extent, really tra traumatize ourselves with low self-worth, low self-love, and you know, self-loathing. And so this really draws that crap out. Um, it can really help with balancing your hormones. Um, any yoni eggs really do with that so you, you inserting it into the yoni and leaving it there and it's allowing this fresh blood flow to come to the vagina it also helps with psychic protection um, with balancing your root chakra so it's that real grounding earthy um, base energy to get us into our bodies it's that foundation so you know your home life your job your work your money it's all of that so it's bringing that into balance and you know we can't really have aligned and really vibrating chakras uh, cleared chakras if our root isn't cleared first so it's great for that aspect um, it can really help with re releasing and removing resentment to others um, so if you do feel resentful towards anyone for any particular reason, even towards yourself, this is, this is your egg. Um, fear, if you feel a lot of fear in your world, in your life, inside you, when you insert the black obsidian egg, you can really infuse that intention into it so that it can remove that fear. So if you feel a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, a lot of depression in your life, this will really, really get to the crux of that. So what you do, you clean the egg when you receive it, clean it with an organic soap or you can use vinegar or an essential oil, give it a really good clean. So you want to run it under some very hot water. Some people are really for boiling water, some people are really against. Again, use your intuition. I use very hot water. So sometimes it, I'll, I'll use water from the kettle, other times I'll just run it under the tap. And so you clean it to wash all the bacteria off it. That's really, really important. And then you want to cleanse it, energetically cleanse it. And you can do that by using sea salt, uh, sea water. If you live by the ocean, that's ideal. Because then you can just run, run down to the beach and just wash it in the water there. Um, you can also just get your own salt water from home using that really nice Himalayan salt, rock salt. Um, you can bury it in the earth overnight. You can leave it under the full moon over a full moon or out in the sunshine. Beware if you do leave it out in the sunshine all day, it might fade a little. Um, you can also sage or smudge it um, if you like. So keep it really energetically cleansed. Every time you use it, it's kind of absorbing that negative energy. So you want to release that through the energetic cleansing process. Um, after that, you can lie down on your bed or find a really nice space uh, that's quiet, that's like a nest, and massage your body. Really get yourself in the zone. Um, use coconut oil. Coconut oil is the bomb. Just really lovingly massage your entire body. Um, or just your breast or just your yawning or somewhere that you're feeling you need that healing energy and light so really create the space and then what I do is I lie down on my back and I just gently uh, take the biggest side of the egg so obviously you can see 
it's a little at this end, big at this end. So you want to put the biggest side, um, press it up against the entrance of your yoni and just leave it there. Just breathe, feel the energy of the crystal, of the stone at the entrance of your yoni and just be with that. Just take some time there to tune into the crystal. So once you're there, you can let the yoni draw it in, like sipping it in. It might take a long, long time or it might just happen really, really quickly. It depends how open you are. It depends how ready you are. And if it doesn't happen, first go, just, just leave it and try it again tomorrow. But what you can do is just really breathe with it there and then allow it gently to be almost like suctioned up into the yoni. Okay, so now as you can see, I have the dental floss here. And I use dental floss and it's waxed. So um, I'm defying everyone else, what everyone else is doing. It just, it doesn't bother me. Um, other people are very, very sensitive, in which case you want to get unwaxed dental floss. You can also use 100% silk string um, from any Lincraft store or um, homo store. Um, or you can use string or whatever you've got, maybe hemp, um, your choice. So you can tie a few things as well if you're paranoid of it getting lost inside your yoni. It cannot get lost, I promise you. Um, it can't. <laughs> it just can't go up into your womb. So once you have it at the entrance, I want you to inhale and draw the egg in. Use your pelvic floor muscles to draw it up. And when you exhale, gently draw it back out to the entrance. And just literally feel the sensations of the egg going in and the egg coming out. It feels really, really beautiful, especially if you're so used to uh, phallic-shaped vibrators or dildos or, you know, your boyfriend. You probably haven't had an egg inside you before, and so it does feel a little different than the standard phallic-shaped cock, uh, for lack of a better word. So really just feel the sensations of that beautiful um, egg. And you know, an egg is a sign of new life. And that's why I love it. it. It's like, what do you want to bring into yourself right now, into your life? What do you want to infuse? It's, it can be so powerful. You know, your reality um, is, your, your intention creates your reality. So really infuse, and that actually, that's a good point, Rosie. Um, infuse your intention into it first always infuse your intention into the egg this makes the practice powerful so what do you want to bring into your world what do you want to release from your energetic field or from you know your your world that makes you unhappy really draw it into this egg so you can self-pleasure with it by drawing it in drawing it out you can also just leave it in. So if you are time poor and you don't have much time to lie on your bed for hours and massage your body and just be a goddess, you can simply just pop it inside. Now it will go up and around and you might not feel it and that's okay. Um, that doesn't mean you have a numb vagina. Most women can't feel it um, initially. So, But what you want to do throughout the day, if you are leaving it in, you can leave it in as long as you feel you need to. I recommend people leave it in for one to three hours initially and then... Um, when they feel this sort of ache around their pelvis, then just gently take it out. Um, but yeah, you can leave it in all day and just keep bringing your awareness back to the egg because the egg is what is, is, is going to bring a mindfulness in that presence. And, you know, we spend so much time up in our heads, right? We spend so much time just thinking, 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 doing, doing, doing. And the egg helps us drop it helps us drop out of the head and into the womb, into our created center. And, and that can be really powerful, if, especially if you want to embrace your divine feminine, if you want to get out of this masculine armor and mask and you want to be in the feminine, bring your awareness to this egg inside you. It's so powerful. And just imagine it's like a seed. You just planted a seed in your womb and that's what you want to cultivate and, and propagate and grow. So it's so powerful. And yeah, when you finish with it, when you're feeling that little bit of dull ache, sometimes it feels like a period pain. I get, usually get it after about eight or 12 hours of having it in there. Then you gently want to take it out and then obviously clean it off and leave it somewhere really sacred in your bedroom or somewhere that is safe and, and uh, nice, somewhere on an altar perhaps and where people can't necessarily just stumble across it and pick it up. You really want to keep it somewhere where it's it's private and it's yours and it's safe. Yeah, so that's my two cents on the obsidian, black obsidian egg. It's ridiculously powerful. And maybe if you don't want to use it straight away, I know a lot of women buy it and then I contact them and see how they're going. They're like, oh, I haven't used it yet because they're a little bit scared. 
all you can do is just sleep with it under your pillow. Sleep with it next to your bed on your bedside table. I always have crystals on my bedside table. I have a beautiful altar, a big tall selenite wand and my I've got my um or my selenite tower and I've got my black obsidian wand and my rose quartz wand all on my altar next to my bed because really that's as, that's really close to your head. So you want to have all that clearing um, charging energy next to you to clear you throughout the night rather than your telephone. So let me know how you go. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will see you next week. Mwah.